What's going on guys? Super Savage uh 789 here bringing you guys a video and today after the community poll I put up on YouTube where you guys all voted is a, the sequel of one of my favorite what ifs on the channel what if Piccolo joined the Freezer Force? So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. Arriving on Namek, the four z are attacked by Freezer soldiers as normal with their ship being broken. Roshi leaps on the Krillin's back and the three fly off with the Dragon Radar leaving Bulma alone by the cave. They rush off, arriving at a Namekian village, spotting a bunch of soldiers, killing a bunch of Namekians. One thing Tien focused on Gohan's training is self-control, as he should be able to bring out his potential without the need of rage. Plus, being calm is the best way to unlock one's third eye. So, when watching all the Namekians die, Gohan barely manages to keep himself controlled. After watching everyone die, the Freezer Force all move away from the village. There's more soldiers with Frieza due to the fact that they had more time to gather soldiers. Whilst this is going on, Piccolo and Kui arrive on Namek. Sensing out power levels, Piccolo and Kui realise that Frieza is on the planet. It doesn't really bother the Namekian, although it does worry Kui a bit. The Namekian decides that they should split up and cover more ground, nodding Kui and Piccolo take off in different directions. Frieza returns to his ship, tasking Dodori, Apul and Zabon to go and find Dragon Balls. Apul was the first to arrive, and in order to destroy the Namekian village, a bit confused. They didn't go to this one, so who did? That's when he hears a snicker from behind. Turning around, he sees Kui bouncing a dragon up and down, and quickly, Apul calms down, believing Kui is still on their side. So, Apul, tell me, would you like this dragon ball? Apul says yes, so Kui obliges. He throws the dragon ball at Apul, slamming straight through his gut, out of his back, causing blood to gush out as the alien quickly dies. After sniggering, Kui takes the dragon ball, flying off. The Z Fighters meet up with Bulma and explain what happened, looking at the Dragon Radar to see where the closest Dragon Ball is. It's the one at Guru's. So, Krillin flies towards Guru's hut, wanting the ball. Whilst flying, he is so distracted by the way he's going, that he doesn't notice Piccolo on the ground looking at him angry. Why the hell are the humans here? Having seen the radar in his hand, Piccolo comes up with the conclusion that he's finding the Dragon Balls. So he suppresses his power level and flies after the bold dwarf. Once Krillin arrives at Guru's hut, Piccolo figures out the Dragon Ball is here. Not needing Krillin anymore, Piccolo fires a Makan Kosapo at the dwarf, which he barely has time to notice. Nail kicks him out of the way, just making him lose an arm in the process. Injured, Nail tells Krillin to take the Dragon Ball inside and fly off, which he nods at, rushing inside. Guru unlocks his power level, and then Krillin flies off through the roof of the hut. Outside of Guru's hut, Piccolo lands, telling Nail to move, but the warrior Namekian refuses. So, Piccolo raises his hand up, blasting Nail, killing him. Then, he simply walks into Guru's. Stepping inside Guru's, Krillin is long gone with the Dragon Ball, angering the Namekian. As he starts to ascend, Guru asks him to wait. Curious, Piccolo waits, staring at the Elder. You plan to slaughter our people and use the Dragon Ball for evil, but there are other people who wish to use their power more evil than you. I wish to give you a special power, so you may overthrow the tyrant. I'm going to leave a poll in the community tab, which, you know, you should make sure you should look at. Does Guru unlock Piccolo's power? Does Guru offer to fuse a Piccolo? Or does Piccolo decide to leave before any gift can be bestowed to him? If his potential, Piccolo may get strong, make him far above the rest. If he fuses with Guru, then it may make Piccolo nicer and start to come good, but it means no Namekian Dragon Balls, so the saga starts to wrap up a bit quicker. Piccolo does neither. It'll make Piccolo the strain strength, but it may mean Gohan or Roshi or both become a bit more relevant with their potential unlocked. Make sure you get voting. Whilst Gohan, Roshi, and Bulma wait for Krillin's return, something bad happens. From sheer luck, Zarbon starts flying towards the cave. Before they can flee, Zarbon lands in front of them, confused, raising his hand up. You three don't appear to be Namekian. No matter, I guess. We'll surely die like the rest of them. Before anything can happen, Bulma shouts for him to wait. If they're killed, then how will they give them all the secret info about the Dragon Balls? This intrigues Zarbon, as he lowers his arm, asking what she means. Well, I can't explain it, unless I'm near them. It's easy to explain with a visual example. Not arguing, Zarbon shouts for them to follow him. Gohan picks up Roshi and Bulma, and flies after the soldier, arriving back at the ship. Kuron arrives back at the cave to see everyone gone, and starts to panic. Meanwhile, Dodoria is roaming around Namek looking for a Dragon Ball, when he finds Kui, someone just sitting there. Dodoria lands, telling Kui he did a good job, asking him to hand over the ball, but Kui straight up just says no. 
This angers Adoria so much, he shouts for Queen to die, firing a mouth blast at him. Naturally, Queen deflects it, shocking Adoria, before feeling his arms snap. Queen breaks Adoria's arm in half, toying with the fat blob. Eventually getting bored, Queen just blasts him, killing him before leaving with the ball. Krillin decides that something bad must have happened to his friends. He buries a dragon ball in the grass nearby. In the grass, stretch in poorly writing number. This is five, 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 five. What could that mean? That's when it hits him. Five Dragon Balls. Throw out the five Dragon Balls. Dragon Raider in hand, Krillin jets off to go see what's going on. On the ship, Zarbon drags the three Earthlings into the room, where Freezer is, sat in his pod, drinking a bit of... Rosé? Confused, Freezer asks what they're doing here. Explaining how they've inside the Dragon Balls, Freezer asks what they know. If they keep anything out, he won't hesitate to kill them. Bulma steps up quite nervously, explaining how they need all seven to grant a perfect wish, but each ball does something a little bit unique. Trying to stall, Bulma comes up with a lot of lies about the balls, which apparently Freezer and Zarbon believe is real, because, you know, why wouldn't they? Outside the ship, Krillin fires a scattered Kamehameha, hitting the ship, causing a bunch of explosions, alerting everyone inside of the intruder's appearance. Freezer tells Zarbon to stay with the humans whilst he goes to look at the problem. Krillin takes flight to somewhat far away, creating distance so he won't be seen when Freezer and his soldiers come outside, flying out the area, trying to find the intruder. Thinking fast, Gohan shouts, Taioken! Blinding both Bulma and Zarbon. In the blinding light, Gohan grabs Roshi and Bulma with the old turtle helmet, grabbing two of the dragon balls as they fly off. The reason Roshi wasn't blinded is because of his sunglasses, which we know is a good method of defending from this, as shown when Goku stole Roshi's glasses in the 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai. Krillin meets up the other three, and together they all rush away to a far off crevice, hoping Goku arrives soon. But guys, that's where I'm going to leave it here. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think is happening in the next episode. I really want this series to be one where you're more interactive, especially now that I've got the community tab. Um, I might still do polls in the Discord, so you, you might want to go join there. And uh, yeah, bye!